Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Max with A1 Website Pro and today we're going to be talking about updating to WordPress 4.4. There's a few new features in WordPress 4.4. The images are resized on fly. There's improvement in the taxonomy systems and then you can have colors and images and categories uh, to WordPress. So what's going to happen whenever you log in? Well let's log in here to uh, Youngstown Angels and uh, you will see that I have not updated it. Now whenever you click please update now you can go through an automatic update but of course you know it tells you to um, make sure that you have your database files backed up but what does that mean how do you do it well that's what this video is about so <clears throat> what you're gonna have to do first is log into your cPanel or your hosting account we have cPanels here at A1 website pro and then we're going to log into our cPanel here so I can show you what to do so click log in and once you're logged into your cPanel, what you want to do is you want to scroll down to the PHP MyAdmin. Okay? And you can actually back up your database like this, you know, if you want to do the this this is just information for the database. This is the actual database itself, okay? And then what you'll do is click export. And then you hit go. And then you'll get, you know, where do you want to download it to, and you can save it like this. But there's a faster and less technical way to do it as well. If you're in cPanel, over here you type backup. Start typing backup, and you see this backup wizard? You just click it, and then what you what this will do is it'll update your home directory, all your files, your, your SQL database, even your emails, you know, forwarders, and email filter configuration. So you click backup here, and then what you want to do is hit full backup now you could just back up these partial partially by clicking these over here but we'll just do a full backup and we'll save this file in our home directory and then I'll have it shoot an email me how of it shoot me an email whenever it's backed up so we'll click generate backup and then you could get out of there and that that's good to go you could wait for your email to come through uh, I have already updated WordPress 4.4 on some other sites uh, so uh, everything has went smoothly, but if you have a lot of uh, you know extra stuff in there, you want to make sure you just back it up before you do it. Okay, then now what we're going to do is click update now. Okay, so here we're going down through the. Uh, it's downloading. It's from WordPress. It's a verifying the install, and now we have the new update. And if we check the site, we can see that probably everything is just the way it used to be. All right, there we go. And then after that, you'll get a, a, a st it's still in the process. You see it's upgrading the database. So that's why it's important because, you know, changing uh, the database around sometimes is a little bit, uh, you know, edgy and uh, for, for everything to work. Now here's the WordPress 4.4 video. It's called Clifford. After you do the update, it'll appear here. And... Uh, this, this particular one has a new theme, and with Youngstown Angels, I always update to the latest theme so we can take advantage of what's going on there. And the uh, the new theme that you get with this update is this 2016. Let's see here. Okay, well, there's an update for 2015 now, so we'll just go ahead and click update that because we've already had our, uh, we've already had it backed up. Okay, so let's return to the themes page. And we were supposed to get 2016, but uh, unfortunately it didn't download it. So if you want to go get that latest theme from WordPress, you know, the 2016, 2016 theme WordPress. If it happened, okay, these are just blogs on 2016. Let's see if we have a, uh, a link in one of these where we can actually get the uh, files for 2016. Here we go. Default theme. All right. So let's see here. WordPress theme repository. Here's 2016. Uh, see, we can have it here, you know, where we could download it. You know, you can download it here and upload it. Or you can actually, whenever you're, whenever you're in here, click Add New Theme. Okay. And hit 2016 or type in 2016. There it is, 2016. So let's go ahead and install 2016. 
Okay, actively installed. We'll go ahead and activate it. And uh, you'll notice we get more features. There, what happens, the new features with the new WordPress update is that for uh, mobile optimization, images are resized on fly. I'll show you what this uh, new theme looks like. It's going to turn this into this. Okay. So we have these uh, uh, sidebar on the right. Uh, we have, you know, a classical uh, type of uh, uh, blog structure. And then whenever we resize, let me see if I could resize this for you. It's just going to automatically resize things for, you know, your visitors whenever they come to your website. So a good deal. I'm going to play around with this theme a little bit more. But uh, the important thing was is that you know how to back up via your seed panel or there's other ways in Plesk. But I'm just mainly worried about the people using seed panel right now because that's the most popular. All right, this is Max with Avon Website Pro. I hope this video has helped you. If you're having any problems at all, go to A1 Website Pro, and I have a uh, product now. It'll be in the description of this where, you know, if you give me the uh, the information to your uh, cPanel and your uh, give me an admin login to your blog, we'll go on and update the, uh, the uh, WordPress uh, core files to the latest files. Thanks.